Hey guys, this is a walkthrough on the store finder tool. So to find this tool, you go on the left side menu and the store finder icon, this icon right here. And once you click on it, you will see this. The store finder is a search engine that allows you to filter and find stores based on many possible criteria. You can start from the basic, you can search by keywords, so if you want to look for a specific niche or specific keyword, uh, this is a place to be. For example, if, if you're looking for a specific niche of pets, you type here, pet, dog, um, cat. Then you can also exclude keywords here. You can also use more sophisticated filters, for example, like the store types, only for drop shippers or print on demand or a single product store or others. We put an extra effort and built an AI technology to find the stores in a very accurate way. So let's go here and search for drop shipping. So the store type that I'm looking for in this case is just uh, drop shipping. And then you can also look into social channels and also which ads channel the store uses. Here you can filter out by country. So um, let's say United States and United Kingdom, just for this example. And then you can filter by language, currency, sales date range from seven days to uh, 60 days. So if you want the data from sales and revenue from seven days, 14 days, 30 days or 60 days. And then you can place here the minimum and maximum sales, the revenue that you're looking for, the range of revenue, and how many active products the store has. So here in this case, let's say I'm just looking for drop shipping stores in the United States, United Kingdom, and then I search the bar. And you see here, it's almost instant. And then you see all the results. So let's go over the results. Here, you can see the store's uh, snapshot. You can see the name of the store the URL, the country, where it's from, the icon of drop shipping in this case, if it's not. So for this specific search, it's only drop shippers. So we see this little drop shipper icon. And then you have the store creation date, the social channels, they're both clickable. You have the ads channel, it's also clickable. Then you have the active products, uh, the sold products and revenue. So why are you running a search? So you can already use this data here to make wise decisions, see which stores you already want to analyze, all right? So let's go through the stores here, for example. Let's see like an interesting dropshipping store. Let's take a look at this dropshipper right here. Check out this revenue. This store made more than $200,000 per month. And you see like in the first view, it doesn't really look like dropshipping, right? It has very good pictures, high quality images, very sophisticated. But our AI technology managed to detect that this store is an actual drop shipping store. So I want to prove to you that this is a dropshipping store. You come back here, click on this icon, then you're going to see all the store's information. And once you do that, you're going to see all the products of the store, correct? And then you click here on the item finder on AliExpress. Then with a simple click, Zik will find the exact same product or similar products on AliExpress. Check it out. And as you can see, this product normally sells for $25 and the seller is selling for double the price on Shopify. And you're looking for ideas to start drop shipping. You simply come here inside the store finder and click drop shipping, the store type, filter out by countries and all these uh, filters that we went through. And you're gonna see many results here that are really interesting that will definitely inspire you to start your own dropshipping business. And also to use as an example and also 
to learn from these sellers right here as well. If you want to analyze the store and the sales tracker, you have to just click this button here. Almost instantly, you can see here the results on the sales tracker. So the sales tracker is another tool which we'll cover basically in another video. So yes, this is the store finder. If you have any questions, please contact the customer support. They'll be happy to help you out. Have a good day.